Herman Melville publishes Moby Dick. Moby Dick is now considered a great classic of American literature and contains one of the most famous opening lines in fiction, Call Me Ishmael. Initially, though, the book about Captain Ahab and his quest to catch a giant white whale was a flop. Its author, Herman Melville, was born in New York City in 1819. As a young man, he spent time in the Merchant Marines, the U.S. Navy and on a whaling ship in the South Seas. In 1846, he published his first novel, Typee, a romantic adventure based on his experiences in Polynesia. The book was a success and a sequel, Amu, was published in 1847. Three more novels followed, with mixed critical and commercial results. Melville's sixth book, Moby Dick, was first published in October 1851 in London, in three volumes titled The Whale, and then in the U.S. a month later. Melville had promised his publisher an adventure story similar to his popular earlier works, but instead, Moby Dick was a tragic epic, influenced in part by Melville's friend and Pittsfield, Massachusetts, neighbor, Nathaniel Hawthorne, whose novels include The Scarlet Letter. After Moby Dick's disappointing reception, Melville continued to produce novels, short stories, Bartleby, and poetry, but writing wasn't paying the bills. In 1865, he returned to New York to work as a customs inspector, a job he held for 20 years. Melville died in 1891, largely forgotten by the literary world. By the 1920s, scholars had rediscovered his work, particularly Moby Dick, which would eventually become a staple of high school reading lists across the United States. Billy Budd, Melville's final novel, was published in 1924, 33 years after his death.